guys welcome to this lesson um, today I will show you what weird things light and shadow da, da, do on um, shiny objects on the surfaces of shiny objects we're gonna do this copper kettle um, first I'm going to do the pure contour drawing and I'm going to use this grid to help me with the proportions okay so I'm gonna fast forward while I do that right Right, so that's the pure contour drawing. Now when you draw shiny objects, it's a very good idea to make your pure contour drawing as detailed as possible. Try to include the darkest shadows plus the lightest highlights. Um, <coughs> sorry, it makes the shading much easier. Okay, so I'm quickly, <clears throat> sorry, going to shade this in black and white in pencil and I think after that I'm going to try to do it in colored pencil. I will just see how long the video is, um, otherwise I will do the colored pencil one in a later video. Alrighty, so the things you have to watch out for when you shade shiny objects is that the contrast between the bright highlights and the dark shadows are really, really crisp. It's got very, very high contrast. The lightest highlights, the, the bright highlights, 
are mostly very bright. You do get a little bit of mid-tones, but the mid-tones are less um, and the darkest and the darkest shadows and the brightest highlights are more on shiny objects. Remember that light reflects on a shiny object a lot. That's why it's a shiny object because light reflects better on it than it does um, let's say a porous object like a piece of cloth or something. Alright, so I'm going to start with the darkest shadows and then work my way towards the mid-tones. The lightest highlights will simply stay open unless they have a softer edge. Then I will just um, soften the edge there. You will also see that the dark shadows and the bright highlights have in general very um, hard edges when you look at um, shiny objects. Right, for instance, that, that highlight there has a pretty sharp edge, as does the, um, the darkest shadows next to it. They also have pretty sharp edges. So now by, just by doing that, I've already, I'm already starting to establish that bright highlight as well as the darkest shadows next to it. Um, there are not many soft edges um, in shiny objects and there are not many um, lost edges in shiny objects. Shiny object is a very harsh thing. They show you the truth and nothing but the truth. So only the <laughs> harsh shadows and um, highlights then. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward here and then I'll see if there is enough space in the video because I'm a bit limited with space on the videos right now. I'll see if there's enough space on the video to do the colored version as well. I, d I doubt it though. But then I'll do the colored version later. All right.
<clears throat> okay, so that is the how you shade a shiny object with pencil. Um, I think we'll have to do the the color one in another video. So stay posted for that one. Um, you must remember that your underdrawing, your pure contour drawing for especially this has to be, has to take a lot more time than the actual drawing does, the actual shading does. So you have to have patience with your pure contour drawing, otherwise your final, the final drawing won't look right. Okay. So I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe, guys. Bye.